gather today to celebrate the Holy Trinity. Our song is Holy, Holy, Holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And this Mass is being offered for all of you and for your intentions. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, 
the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last weekend, my niece had a social distance gathering. Now, it sounds like a contradiction in terms, but apparently that's a thing now. What it was, was about a dozen members of my family. We all met in her backyard. We all brought our own chairs. We all sat in a giant circle with each family group being six feet apart. And it was very nice. We sat there and we talked and we laughed and had a good time. And actually, especially because I really hadn't seen any of them for months, like during this virus lockdown, we've been in touch both by email and by text and at, at Easter time we even had a Zoom meeting. But still, as good as those things are, they're really not the same. They're not the same as actually being together in the same place. And I was thinking about that especially this weekend as we look forward to once again the public celebration of Mass and how many of us will once again be able to come together for the celebration of Mass. And yet at the same time, I also realize, particularly if you're watching this video, it's probably because you realize that for yourself, it might not be safe right now for to come back from Mass, that you still are not able to come together with everyone else for your own safety's sake. And I know that for many of you, that is such a great sacrifice, a very difficult thing. In fact, I think for all of us, one of the lessons that we have learned during this time of isolation is really just how much we need each other, how much we miss each other when we're not together. And that's true really of every aspect of our lives. And I think it's especially true of our spiritual life, that we really can't just go it alone. We really need each other, we rely upon each other. We need each other to give each other that kind of support and encouragement to carry on, especially during difficult times. And sometimes we need each other for correction, to make sure that we really are doing the right thing and we're not simply deluding ourselves. And so it is so important that we have each other, that we so much need each other. And really, I think that's also one of the lessons of today's feast, the Feast of the Holy Trinity. In the Holy Trinity, we are reminded how God has revealed himself to us as a trinity. God has revealed to us that he is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in one God. Now, that's something that we never could have discovered on our own we totally relied upon God to reveal that about himself. And it does show us that God, even in and of himself, is a kind of community. And certainly we who are created in the image and likeness of God are once again reminded of our own need for community, our own need for each other. And so today we do make a special prayer for all people in our church and in our troubled society that we will be able to find that unity, that unity that is rooted in God and in the love that God gives to us. We pray for all people that they will be safe. We pray for you that are at home. And also we look forward to that day when once again all of us will be able to be back together again at the altar of God. And now together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, and, earth, and of all things, things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son, Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, light from light, light true God from true God, begotten, God, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now with confidence in God's love and God's power, we present our Heavenly Father with our needs and with our petitions. Our response is, Lord of life, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Perez, and for all the faithful, that we may be renewed by the most holy trinity, as today we come together in our churches to celebrate the word of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For peace and unity in these times of unrest, that the Holy Trinity will help all peoples to join together to overcome racial prejudice and to join their hands peacefully in love for their neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, for all those who are ill, for those who care for them, for those who are isolated, for those facing financial hardship, and especially for those who have died from the virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord of, Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. For all our children, as they cope with changes and uncertainty in their lives, that they take on the child Jesus Christ as their role model and grow to maturity in faith and wisdom during these challenging times, we pray to the Lord. Lord of, Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. For all the sick of the parish, that they may know the healing touch of Christ in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord of, Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, especially those recorded in our book of remembrance, and for the happy repose of the soul of Jerry McDevitt, we pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we present you with these petitions as well as all those prayers that each of us hold in our hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. we prepare the altar and gifts, our song is Christians Let Us Love One Another. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise Pray. and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with the only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their, each, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim, two, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
trespass, we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof. But, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Our song is, I Received the Living God. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of mind and soul, as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our closing song is all praise and glad thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. 